And meanwhile, after a few days of hitches in the evacuation process of Nigerians from Sudan due to financial issues, the Nigerian government has now resumed the process. Another set of 31 buses have started moving students and other nationals out of Sudan. This was disclosed at a media briefing in Abuja by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, who also is the chairman of the Situation Room, opened to coordinate the evacuation. Moya Thomas reports. The evacuation process of Nigerians from Sudan has raised so much concern among citizens after several videos surfaced online indicating hitches in the process. To spot Sudan. Some of the many questions the process has raised were answered by the chairman of the Situation Room on the evacuation of Nigerians from Sudan and the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Nasir Sani Gwazo. He says government will ensure the evacuation of all registered nationals and about 5,500 Nigerians have been identified. So far, 637 has been moved from Sudan to the Egyptian border where they have over the past three days faced challenges of being cleared. Our plane is there now in Aswan waiting to receive these people but they have not been able to move them from the borders into Aswan. So clearly there is a difficulty, but that is a difficulty that our principals are trying to resolve. Uh, I must say that our principals, the ministers, uh, even the SGF, the NSO, NSA, and even Mr. President. He says all available resources are being used, including collaboration with international organizations to ensure the safe passage of Everquiz to Aswan, where they will be airlifted. He confirms that President Buhari has made necessary calls and contact on the matter. The disturbing news of non-payment of drivers, which has hampered the movement, is cleared as a matter of miscommunication. They gave us 30 and closed the matter. All efforts to get them moved, they said no. That is deposit. Give us another deposit. And that is not the language. We were speaking two different languages. Now that we have understood their language, we have decided to pay everything. So we have paid everything. As I'm speaking with you, tell anybody that you have who is over there to send you pictures, and I have my own. The vehicles are rolling out of Khartoum. And we told them, we delayed them for three reasons. We were in a dilemma of what to do now that we have sent the first batch to Egypt, it is four days in the Egyptian border. Nobody has been allowed entry, not a single person. Should we continue to ask people in that border? Do you mean in those desert areas? The government official explains that the movement of the monies, even without receipt, is monitored by the DSS and NFIU. Apart from the 1,519 Nigerian nationals in the 31 buses leaving Khartoum today, the Nigerian government will continue to mop up citizens willing to be evacuated, taking advantage of the window provided by the extension of the ceasefire by a further 72 hours. Moyo.